We are cruising right along building our crew birthday app and we have our object built and we have our event handler wired up for our go button. And so when we click run, oh, actually we get nothing. We want the welcome screen. So we have our go button. That's easy to resolve. So we just reset. And if you go to the design tab, we need to make our welcome screen the default screen. So you see we're on the welcome screen. This little button pops up. We can make it default. And if we make that the default screen, then when we run it, it starts on the welcome screen rather than the birthday screen. So we, um, so if we run it, reset, run, we click go, it will trigger this on event and it will just show Esther to the screen. It's showing our first the item at index one in the array. So index zero, one in the array is Esther. All right, so we don't want to show just one Kruby though. We want to show three Krubies. So we have a little bit of work to do. So we need to um, change some things on our design screen. We need to add labels for more people. So we have this nicely formatted text label. And so let's just copy it. We've spent some time getting the font right, getting the size right we can see that it's at X position five and Y position 30. So let's duplicate it. And then we can just put it at exactly at X position five and X position 40 means it overlaps. So let's bump it up to 60 and that looks nice. And we can leave that there. And then let's duplicate it again so that we have a third and let's put it at X position five and Y position well, the first one's at 30, the next one's at 60. So let's add 30 more. So we make this one at 90 and they're nice and evenly spaced out. And I hope you see that using this typing in the properties in these boxes is much easier than trying to drag these around and make them line up precisely. So the other thing I wanna do is, and you'll see why later, I wanna change this ID from one to zero. And this will be then name one and this might seem a little bit strange, but it's going to make more sense to you later. And this is going to be name two. And then let's do the same thing with our birthday labels. Let's just duplicate it. And I remember that its X position is 120. And let's make it 60 so it exactly matches its name partner and duplicate it again. And just change this to 120 and this Y to 160. So I'm sorry, not 160, 90. So maybe it's hard to get these set at first, but then once you've got them set, then it's easier to use the properties to change them. And let's last thing is change the name of the birthday label. So this is birthday zero, and this is birthday one. And again, I missed. This is birthday one. And again, this might seem a little bit odd, but it's gonna make sense in a couple minutes. And let's make this guy birthday two, so they match up nicely. R T H D A Y two. Okay, so we go back to the code and we've got our on event. It's showing Esther. Let's change this so it shows Julian, the first Kruby. And we oops, we change the name from name one to name zero and birthday one to birthday zero. And we've made a lot of changes, so let's test it and make sure we're not lost. So we run it. And we go and it shows Julian and Julian's birthday like we expect. Okay, great. So, but we don't want to show just one crewbie. We want to show the whole crew. So we've created labels for everybody. Now let's just copy this code. Let's copy these two set texts and command C, make a little space and command V. And we have set up for another label. And let's just get the indentation right. And so what needs to change? So we copied that exactly, but now we wanna to show to label one, which is our second label, and birthday one, which is our second birthday label. And instead of showing what's in the first, at, at index zero in the Krubies array, we wanna show what's at index one. So we just change this, and then we're, we will be showing Esther's information. Let's make sure that works. So we run and click go. And don't copy this, because we're actually gonna, <laughs> delete this in, a, in, a, in the next video, but if we do this, command C and then command V. So now we wanna show the third thing in the array, which is at position two. So we can change it from Krubies one to Krubies two. 
and we can change the name from name one to our third label, which is name two, and from birthday one to birthday two. And now it's showing all three of our Krubies. And that is awesome. The only problem is we have 14 Krubies in our crew and we um, there's a better way than copying this and doing all those repetitious changes. As I said at the outset, we're gonna use a for loop to do the repetition for us. And we will get to that in the next video.